What up, bruv? Bruv? I who am I kidding? I can't do an accent. Hi. What's up? I never know how to start videos. Also, I have bangs, but they get... <laughs> Here's me with bangs. Here's me moving them out of the way. My name's Alana, also, by the way. I feel like I never say that in my videos, and sometimes people like don't know how to pronounce my name, so... My name's Alana. Should I start over? Hi guys, what's up? My name's Alana Wickering. I'm sweating really bad in here. It, I think it's um, partially because I'm nervous. The point of this video, you clicked on it, you want to watch me do BuzzFeed quizzes so I can learn more about myself. During quarantine, I've had a lot of time to self-reflect. I've thought about a lot of different things. I've thought about myself and about so much stuff in the world so much that I don't really know what's real anymore. That's an exaggeration, but BuzzFeed is known for their quizzes. It's like, you know when you were a kid and you like used magazines and you took like the quizzes in the magazines? That's basically what I'm doing right now, except for it's going to be on BuzzFeed.com. So I'm basically just gonna tell you guys the quiz that I'm taking and then we will go through the questions together. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna start. Let's just get into it, okay? Quiz number one. There's a lot of things about K-pop on here. I don't do that. We know if you are more left-brained or right-brained based on your taste in desserts. All right, let's figure it out, baby. Apple pie or key lime pie? Apple pie. Chocolate cake or Funfetti cake? Funfetti. Ice cream sundae or gelato? I don't know the difference. Does that make me a bad person? What's the difference between gelato and ice cream? Is gelato just like more expensive? Taste a little better, creamier maybe? Should I still pick gelato? It looks more appetizing in this picture. I'll pick gelato. Brownies or lemon squares? Who the f- Brownies. Chocolate chip or oatmeal raisin? Chocolate chip. Glazed or sprinkled? Definitely glazed. Cheesecake or croissants? Oh, they cannot do that. That's unfair. Cheesecake and croissants are both so good. It doesn't say chocolate croissants though. Not the same. Cheesecake. Macaroons or chocolate covered strawberries? Chocolate covered strawberries. Flan? Flan? Or tirama tiramisu? Uh, I've only ever had flan. I think it's flan. So I'm gonna get that one. That's the one I'm gonna choose. Cupcakes or muffins? Muffins. Bananas foster or peach cobbler? Banana stuff is always good. Acai bowls or milkshakes? Acai bowls. Crepes or funnel cake? Oh, funnel cake brings back like when you went to the fair as a kid and like ate an entire funnel cake and like didn't care. I don't know, did anybody else do that? Because I definitely did that all the time. Caramel apples or beignets? Beignets. I was just listening to a podcast and they were talking about beignets and I realized that that's what it is, not bayonets. So I thought I would help myself out. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. I don't know what bayonets are though. So caramel apples. You got right brained. You are more right brain dominant, which means you're creative, free spirited, and intuitive. You don't like to get caught up in the details of things and would rather focus on the big picture, which makes you spontaneous and always open to new experiences. Most of all, you aren't afraid to wear your heart on your sleeve and let your emotions show, which is exactly why people love you. Damn. This gross food slash drink combo will reveal your personality type. That sounds intriguing. Um, the main picture is actually a blue slushy with onions. I'm not sure who would ever want to have that, but let's do it. Chocolate milkshake and olives, disgusting. Olives are not my thing. I'll say it. I don't like olives. I can't help it. Eggnog and pepperoni pizza. I like eggnog and I definitely like pepperoni pizza. I'll put the I'd try it. It's not getting disgusting and it's not getting yummy. I'd try it. Beer and black licorice. Disgusting. Beer looks disgusting, sounds disgusting. Sorry, it's really hot in here. Is my face red? Am I, am I nervous? I'm not sure. Black licorice, I don't know if I've ever had it, but it scares me. I've heard that it's good and I've also heard that it tastes like dog shit. So like, I don't really know which one it is and I'm kind of afraid to try. Okay, this is the opening one. Blue raspberry slushy and red onion. Disgusting. Disgusting. Onions? In blue raspberry slushy? Disgusting. Caramel coffee frappuccino and blue cheese. I like blue cheese, but I definitely am gonna say this is disgusting because that would be bad. Like, caramel coffee and blue cheese sounds so... 
not good. So, oh god, I accidentally put it on yummy. Never mind. Oh, you got that yum. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pickle juice and strawberry ice cream. I don't like pickles very much at all, but strawberry ice cream is so good. Disgusting. Buttermilk and cheese puffs. Buttermilk? Buttermilk. Isn't that like something you add to stuff? Like you add it when you like cook things and bake things? Maybe I'm wrong. I'm gonna say I'd try it. I haven't had cheese puffs in so long. Next, root beer float and asparagus. I'm honestly, I'm saying yummy. I like asparagus. I like root beer float too. I don't know, maybe it's not yummy. How about I try it? I like both of them separately, so I feel like it'd be okay to eat them at like the same sitting. Orange juice and peppermint candies, disgusting. You know like when you brush your teeth and then you drink orange juice and you gag a little? Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. You got the entrepreneur. You're a smart, energetic, and perceptive person who values taking big risks in life. You have a habit of spotting problems in your environment and challenging yourself to think of practical solutions. From time to time, you might jump without looking, but you've got a knack for fixing problems as they come. Your friends and family look to you for creative and innovative ideas and advice. This is actually really interesting that I got the entrepreneur because like, I wanna be an entrepreneur and like have my own business. And I'm like going to school and like taking like entrepreneurship classes. Sorry, you see that car? <laughs> but yeah, so that's cool that I actually got that. I don't know how that base is off of pickle juice and asparagus and strawberry ice cream and all these different things, but take this Stranger Things quiz and we'll reveal if you're Mike or Will. This is actually interesting. I love Stranger Things. It's a very good show. Eleven or Max, they're both so cute. Like, they're both, like, very pretty girls. I don't know. I like the vibe of the skater girl with Max, but Eleven, she's got superpowers, which are really cool, and, like, she dresses, like, out there. I don't really know. I'm gonna say Eleven. Mind Flayer or Demogorgon? The Demogorgon scares the living shit out of me. This picture that's on screen right now, you guys can see it. That shit scares the fuck out of me. Like, how is this, how is this okay? You know, we're gonna say Mind Flayer. Dustin or Lucas? Dustin is so cute. Lucas is awesome, but Dustin is so cute. Oh my god. I love him. I have to choose Dustin. Hopper or Joyce? Rest in peace, Hopper. But let me know if you think that he's dead. Spoiler alert, he's definitely not. You can fight me on that if you want, but he's definitely signed more seasons. Spoiler alert, I'm sorry. I honestly think I like Hopper more than I like Joyce. Steve or Jonathan? Definitely Steve. Sorry. No, I had no bounce back time there. It was just automatically. Pick a season, one, two, three, or all. All. You're like Mike Wheeler. You're brave, kind, and loyal. People trust you because you're a leader. Nice. Oh, this is cool. Which district do you belong in based on the Hunger Games arena you build? That's cool. Though I forgot about the Hunger Games. That is a good series. Damn, this, this is kind of making me nostalgic. I'm not gonna lie. Buzzfeed really has got it going on. What is the theme of the arena? Mountains, forest, open field, island, deserted city, desert, ancient ruins, tropical. Holy shit. Why did you give me so many options? Deserted city. What will be the cornucopia? Food. Choose something to amp up the difficulty. See, these scare me. I don't want to put people through this stuff. Snakes come out at night. Active volcano, that's scary. How long will the games be? We'll do 16 days. What district will you be rooting for? I don't care, I'm gonna close my eyes and... District five. You belong in district five. Your district is very important to all the Pan Am because you supply all the power and electricity. Happy Hunger Games. That, I didn't like that one. That one didn't tell me something about my personality. I want to learn more about myself. What kind of funny are you? That could be interesting. Do you like puns slash dad jokes? Yes. If you saw a cake fall on the floor, would you laugh? Maybe. If your friend falls down, are you laughing? I mean, I'll make sure you're okay, you know? Like, I have the decency to make sure you're okay, but then I'll laugh. But if you're not okay, then, like, then I'll have to take care of you, but then we'll probably laugh about it later, so either way. Do you quote lines from movies? Yes. Have you ever played a prank on someone? Who hasn't? If you haven't pulled a prank on somebody, you haven't lived a tr you haven't you haven't lived. That's a that's a stretch. But do you make your friends laugh often? Yet yeah, laugh often. Yes, I do. Have you ever made yourself look dumb on purpose to get a laugh? Yeah, probably. I just kind of make pe people kind of just laugh at me anyways cuz I'm kind of an idiot a little bit. Oh, that bird was like really Did you hear that? 
every every time I talk, it starts like ah, ah. I got sarcastic funny. You make people laugh without even trying. You just have a funny vibe, and sometimes it's a little dark. We actually know the first letter of your crush's name based on your answers to these random questions. This could be interesting. Let's check it out. Pick a food. Chicken nuggets, sushi, pizza, mac and cheese. Sushi. Choose an outfit. Damn, those are all fucking ugly. Choose the manly one. <laughs> what color is your hair? Blonde, black, other, brown? What do you guys think? I mean, it's blonde here, but then it's like brown here. I'll say blonde. How old are you? 17 to 20. They guessed S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, or Z. I don't, xylophone? Well, like xylophone, but like with an X, it starts with an X. Like, who the fuck? Okay, like I guess like an Xavier name is normal. That's just part of the end of the alphabet. Sorry, not correct. That is not correct. You guys know what I'm talking about? Uh, that is not correct. A detailed personality quiz breaking down specific parts of your most dominant traits. I often feel lost. This is true 0% to 10% of the time. What color in this artwork? What the fuck you mean? Like that one. How often do you need time for yourself? 50% of the time. Anger. I find long conversations draining. This is true 0% of the time. You are likely to have a detailed itinerary of travel plans. Pretty certain. I like organization. That's just who I am. I can't help it. Choose the following image that brings you the most comfort. The fire. It reminds me of Christmas at my grandparents' house. We always have a fire and I always sit by it and then I sweat to death. But I do it every year, so it's kind of just like, it's just like a thing. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I often show affection to people I care about. This is 100% of the time true. Use the pain scale to rate how you react to heartbreak. Well, probably a 10. I like to be dramatic. I've never had a boyfriend though, so I don't know if I've really had a heartbreak. But I think that if I did, I would definitely be... No, maybe I wouldn't. Well, I already, pick, I already picked the answer, so it's fine. I have a hard time owning up to my mistakes. 0% true. You are the type of person who has vivid dreams. Sometimes. How does this image make you feel? Inspired. You have a difficult time making decisions. 50% of the time, that's true. How is your mood on average? Depression slash sadness. Uncertain, anxious, reflective, thoughtful, bored, uninspired, hopeful, lighthearted, inspired, happy, thrilled, cheerful. Inspired and happy, usually. How does this image make you feel? This is kind of making me uncomfortable. Like, why do they keep asking me that? <laughs> Excited. Because it makes me, like, want to go on vacation. Maybe that's because I've been stuck in my house for a really long time and I want to go on vacation, but... I listen to my head over my heart sometimes. I'm afraid of the unknown. 50% of the time true. More practical than idealistic. Sometimes. What color is your heart? What the fuck you mean? Purple, pink, red? Isn't everybody's heart the same color? Is this, like, metaphorical and I'm not understanding? My heart's pink. How about that? You always honor your commitments. That's almost always true. I got 90% creative. <laughs> the second one is 88% weird. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, should we do like one more? These kind of suck, but I don't know if this is even fun. Are you guys learning more about me? I hope so. The salad you build will reveal your most underrated trait. Now that's intriguing. Let's check it out. Pick a main ingredient. Strawberries, spinach. Are those sardines? That's just mm. mini tomatoes, apples. I already have the strawberries. Tomato, I guess. Choose your dressing. How about like a nice like balsamic vinaigrette or like a raspberry vinaigrette? We'll do sweet chili. Pick a bowl, that's weird. Your creativity is my most underrated trait. You're imaginative, this doesn't mean you're necessarily amazing at art or the best at writing, okay. <laughs> it means you can think of fantastic ideas before you attempt them. Let's do one on the opposite side. Make a delicious bowl of pasta and we'll tell you what people like most about you. This could be fun. Pane, spaghetti, farfel, cavatappi. Did I say any of those right? I don't know. I like the bow tie, that looks cool. That's what I'll call it. What sauce do you want? Tomato, vodka sauce, Ew. Pesto, olive oil, pesto, garnish, basil, tomatoes, cheese, all of the above. Where will you eat it? The fuck? We'll say the dining room. Who will you eat it with? Not my partner. I'll eat it with myself. People like most about me, my sense of humor. Ha <laughs> ha. That's right. For all of you that said I wasn't funny, apparently that's the thing everybody likes about me. 
Everyone around you loves your sense of humor. You always know how to lighten the mood and get people laughing. Whenever your friends are down, they come to you because they come to you because they know you're the one person who can make them feel better. You're truly a joy to be around. You know, BuzzFeed's really making me feel good, making me feel like I'm a good friend, making me feel creative. Should I do more? Do you guys want more? We will give you a new song to listen to based on these spring clothes you choose. That's actually really cool. Maybe we'll get a new song out of this, guys. I Dare You by Kelly Clarkson. You're bold in the life of the party. That's why this new banger by Kelly is perfect for you. Should we do a reaction to this song quick? I'm afraid. song I've ever listened to I think by Kelly Clarkson is what doesn't kill you makes you stronger this song's not bad I've only listened to like a minute of it but it's not that bad I do think that I am going to end the video did you learn something new I think you guys should take these BuzzFeed quizzes and learn what character you are in Stranger Things BuzzFeed just holds this really high ranking and I really care about their opinion you know like they're just like a really big deal to me in my heart if you stayed to this point you must like actually like me. I have to pee so badly. I want to keep taking quizzes just because they're kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know who has the time to make all of them, but thank you for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. See you soon. Peace, love, happiness. <sighs> okay. This... Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm